We want to begin tonight with the groundbreaking verdict against a Michigan mother whose teenage son killed four classmates in a school shooting in 2021. The jury of six women and six men found Jennifer Crumbly guilty of four counts of involuntary manslaughter for allowing her troubled son access to a gun, despite warning signs of his declining mental health. This is noteworthy because it's the first time in the United States that a parent has been convicted in the deaths of a mass school shooting committed by their child. Prosecutors charged Crumbly with four counts, one for each of the four students killed at Oxford High School in Michigan in 2021. Well, tonight we're hearing from the jury four person for the first time about what sealed the mother's fate. Her son, Ethan, pleaded guilty and was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. CBS's Elaine Quijano reports from Pontiac, Michigan. We find the defendant guilty of involuntary manslaughter. Jennifer Crumbly closed her eyes at times as the decision was read. Craig Schilling was there. His son, Justin, was killed in the massacre. Well, with this verdict, I mean, it will carry a lot of weight with it. Um, it will definitely um, get people thinking. The jury foreperson said their decision came down to a single factor. The thing that really hammered at home is that she was the last adult with the gun. It was in November of 2021 when Crumbly's then 15-year-old son, Ethan, shot and killed four students at Oxford High School. Madison Baldwin, Tate Meir, Justin Schilling, and Hannah St. Juliana. Seven other people were wounded. After the shooting, Crumbly and her husband fled. They were found hiding in a Detroit industrial building as officers closed in. We have a mountain of evidence. That Prosecutors had argued Jennifer Crumbly failed to address her son's yes. deteriorating mental health before the shooting, allowed him to have a gun despite signs he was in mental distress, and refused to take her son home the day of the shooting after a school meeting to discuss disturbing drawings he made. Did you ever believe that your son needed mental health treatment? No. During the trial, Crumbly broke down in tears when surveillance video of the shooting was played. She testified she never saw signs her son would turn violent. Legal analyst Joe Tamburino. This will create a huge precedent for further cases. Think about it. The next time there's some type of school shooting, they could arrest the parents, everything. This is going to change the landscape in the future. Jennifer Crumbly is facing a maximum of 60 years in prison. Her sentencing is set for April 9th. Her husband, James, goes on trial next month, also for involuntary manslaughter. He has pleaded not guilty. Nora? Elaine Quijano, thank you.